David Casey hanging out with Scott Borchetta from Big Machine Vodka and Big Machine Records. Getting ready for the Big Machine Vodka 400 at the Brickyard, powered by Florida Georgia Line on Sunday, which will all start off with a performance of the national anthem from our guest on the phone right now. You just saw her in town recently with Rascal Flats, Carly Pierce. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being up early uh, because you got a big weekend ahead of you performing the national anthem at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This has got to be old habit for you by now, though, right? Um, you would be surprised. <laughs> I feel like every time you sing the national anthem, you get a little nervous. And uh, But I, I had so much fun last year, and I'm so excited to be able to come back. Well, you've had uh, a number of large venues that you've performed in recently because you also did the anthem in Charlotte, and then you just recently were at Wrigley Field. Yes. So maybe I'm a little less nervous, but I don't know. I feel like as soon as I get in front of that microphone, all my little butterflies are going to come flying back. (laughs) (laughs) What was it like? uh, You were on uh, one of the Luke Bryan uh, stadium dates there at Wrigley Field. What what was that like playing on that legendary field? I don't even know how to put it into words. Um, I feel like I think about one year ago I was playing – in front of Brett Young on his tour in clubs and to think in one year, my life has changed from clubs to playing Wrigley field and having a catwalk that was so long. I was almost out of breath by the time I got at the end of it. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm a runner and I still was out of breath. So it's just been amazing. And that was an experience that I will absolutely take forever and hold very precious. You know, it's funny, the the space, the physicality of the space of, of that, like in a stadium like that, you know, you're used to in the last year uh, being in a van with the rest of your band, being on a stage where you bump into your guitarist every now and then, right? These small things. And then suddenly you're out on a catwalk and you're 75 yards away from your nearest band member. Oh my gosh, I turned around and kind of had separation anxiety. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> Why am I all the way out here? <laughs> what an awesome experience uh, talking to Carly Pierce, who, as I mentioned, was here with Rascal Flats over the summer. That looked like a fun tour to be on. I was so sad when that tour ended. Those boys became like brothers to me, and Dan and Shay as well. And my whole band was treated on a level that I feel like one day when I'm a headliner, I will. And I told Gary this, um, LaVox, I said, you taught me how to be a headliner because they were unbelievably gracious to me and just it will be a summer that I'll never forget. Now, they're kind of like uh, sometimes annoying brothers, though, with the pranking and the poking and all the stuff that they do. They're pretty funny. They're pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but they were pretty nice to me. They did They did some little things. I, I felt sorry for Shay. Shay got the, the short end of the stick on the pranks. <laughs> yeah, they knew not to mess with Carly. They knew I was yeah, watching. They knew not Don't to mess me. with my guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Scott has a real, he, he's really got you under his wing. And very. Uh, he's very, very proud of you. He's always talking about you every time that we're not on the radio. Uh, he has such high praise for, for your work ethic and your talent and everything that you brought to the table. That, I, I was just smiling thinking that. Um, I feel I feel like the relationship that I have with Scott is something that a lot of artists don't get. Most artists don't get. Um, he is unbelievably uh, collaborative with me, listens to every idea that I have, but also is obviously one of the most influential people in the music industry, and I feel so lucky to be one of his artists. Now, speaking of having relationships with people, uh, you are now part of a... <laughs> See that uh, segue there? Yeah, well, I mean, Instagram, yeah, nice and, <laughs> Instagram and Twitter has been blowing up with uh, some posts uh, about you and uh, Michael Ray kind of hanging out together lately. Yeah, I, I never thought I would be that girl that was so Instagram sappy, <laughs> but it, it kind of <laughs> happened. I, I hold a trash can next to me every time I post. <laughs> 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 Well, at least you don't have a cutesy name yet, like Marley or something as a couple. So that's good. You haven't gone down that road. Yeah, no, we're going to keep our separate names. Everybody keeps trying to give us names. We're like, no, 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 (laughs) no. Now, you you grew up not too far away from where we are right now in uh, northern Kentucky outside of Cincinnati. Did you make it to Indianapolis ever that much when you were growing up? Oh, yes. My my parents and my grandparents, um, you know, I was born in Marion, Indiana. I was raised in northern Kentucky, but my whole family lives very close to Indianapolis. So we visited the Circle Center Mall quite a bit, and nice. uh, I am very familiar with Indianapolis. Right. Uh, is the Orange Julius still open over there? Can we grab you one for Sunday, maybe? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please bring me one. <laughs> Well, Carly, always great to talk to you. Uh, We're looking forward to seeing you back here in town on Sunday singing the national anthem before the Big Machine Vodka 400 at the Brickyard, powered by Florida Georgia Line. And uh, rest up this weekend for that, all right? 
I will. I'm going to be drinking tea and getting ready. All right. <laughs> and maybe a glass of wine after the race is over. Here's Carly Pierce Thanks, and Hide the Wine on Country 97.1 Hank FM.